I got a new pantry and I did all the research for you. So if you're looking into giving a closet in your home a makeover, then keep watching for all the details on Easy Closets. First, I want to mention that Easy Closets did not send me this for free or anything. I bought the closet myself and am sharing my honest review to help you out with your decision on what kind of closet system to go with. I do have a coupon code for you below and that's for a percentage off and free shipping just in case you do end up going with Easy Closets. I thought it would be too much to talk about the whole Easy Closets process and show you how I organized the pantry in one video. So we are splitting this into two videos. In this first video, we'll go through the Easy Closets process and I'll show some highlights of the install and pros and cons of going with a semi-custom closet versus a fully custom closet. In next week's video, we'll organize my pantry with lots of Amazon finds. If you're a little OCD like me, you will really like that one. So make sure to subscribe so you know when it goes up. You have a few different options when it comes to making over a closet. First, you could build your own shelves and install them, which is lots of work, but cheap. There's semi-custom, which is some work, but cheaper than fully custom, and that's like easy closets. And then fully custom is no work, but it's more expensive. For example, California closets. You'll want to weigh a few different factors to help you decide which type of closet system to go with. So there's your willingness to put in some elbow grease and then the tools that you already own and how complicated your current system is. And then also you might want to consider how complicated the design is that you want to build. So here are some questions to ask yourself to start the decision making process. First off, how handy are you? If you're a woodworker and you have all the tools, then building your own shelves may be the way to go. It also depends on how difficult your existing system is to remove. If you don't have all the tools to remove your old one, or it is really solid in there, then you may wanna pay extra for fully custom because one of the benefits of fully custom is that they can help you from start to finish. And if you have a really complex design in mind, even a semi-custom install could get complicated, so that might be a sign to go with a fully custom. Easy Closets is in the semi-custom category. The main reason we went with them was the cost savings and the pantry seemed like a relatively small project compared to say our master bedroom closet, which side note, we did end up going fully custom with the master. So stay tuned for that video this summer. For the pantry, we were willing to put in some work for the price savings, and at first glance, our other shelves didn't look too difficult to remove. <laughs> More on that later. Based on getting multiple quotes, we found that between a semi-custom and a fully custom design, the savings for a semi-custom was about two-thirds of the cost of a fully custom. Most semi-custom closets seem to be around the same price, and most of the fully custom closets were all around the same price too. So I guess it's more about the type of system that you go with versus the brand. Easy Closets is known for their online design program, the free design service, and instant price quotes. I had a clear vision in mind for the pantry, and since I'm a graphic designer, I even mocked up a few ideas and sent them to the design consultant, and he made my edits very quickly. But I could see someone not having any idea of how they want their closet to look and no design experience, and the free design service would be super helpful to get you started and walk you all the way through the design process. If you want to play with the design on your own, they do have an online tool so you can put your design together there, but there's never a time when an easy closet representative comes into your home the way that a fully custom closet company does. 
We went back and forth a few times with the free design services. We measured a few times and got everything looking just how we wanted. There weren't an excess of drawers or extras, so we figured it wouldn't be too hard to install. Once you give your consultant the okay, they will order the parts to be cut to your dimensions, and about a week or two later, a very <laughs> large shipment will arrive on your doorstep. Our shipments came over the course of a few days, so you will want to make sure you have everything before getting started. We even called to confirm with our consultant to make sure that there weren't any more boxes coming. Let's take a look at the before of my pantry so you have an idea of what we were working with. We moved into a new home, so these shelves are in good condition, but the angled bars coming down and awkward corners make this space a lot less efficient than it could be. I also had to put some pieces of wood down so that the spice racks wouldn't fall through the wire shelving. And then here is the pantry all emptied and you can see there are a lot of fasteners in the wall. They didn't just screw out, but had to be pried out. This was a new home, so everything was in there really good by the builder and didn't have any time to get worn down and loosened up. Even for this relatively small pantry, there were still lots of really big holes that needed to be sanded, filled, and painted. We did end up selling the old shelves and hardware after our new ones were installed. Now, Easy Closets has a whole library of install videos, and I will link some of those in the description box below this video for you, along with that coupon code. But I just want to share the high-level highlights of how this install went. I'm being honest here, my husband did 99% of the work, so I got his opinions on all this too, but there was no doubt just from watching that this was a lot of manual labor. The directions were very clear, but there were a lot of steps, and as he described it, imagine building IKEA furniture, but instead of building it on the ground, you're building it while suspending it against a wall. <laughs> the removal of the old shelves was a whole process in itself, and you may need different tools for that, depending on what kind of system you're removing. But just for the install of easy closets, you'll need a level, stud finder, tape measure, drill, screwdriver, and hacksaw. You start by attaching the rails to the wall and then hanging the vertical panels from the rail. My husband said the worst part of this project was using the hacksaw to cut the metal rails. Easy Closets says that all you need is a hacksaw, but if you have something like a table saw, then you would be in better shape for this part. Then there were a bunch of cam screws for the panels to connect and lock the shelves in place. Then the drawers were installed. Some of the shelves are locked in place like these, but most of the shelves are adjustable with these silver pins. Easy Closets supplied covers for the rails, and those could be painted to your wall color if you want to make them blend in even better. They also had little stickers that were just the right size to cover those cam screws, and that was the 1% help that I put in for this project. Easy Closets did provide ways for these shelves to be safe and secure against those walls. There are these brackets on the top of the whole system. Then the whole system is sitting on those slanted rails. And then at the bottom, Easy Closets recommended drilling the screws through the top of the bottom shelf and into those wooden cleats that you attach to the wall underneath the whole system. This was the one place my husband deviated from Easy Closet's original instructions, 
and we did this to have a cleaner look. So he used these L bars that we bought at Lowe's and this prevented having a hole that you would see on those bottom shelves. So was Easy Closets worth the time, money savings, and effort? For this size of a space, definitely yes. We were very happy with the way this small space went with Easy Closets and are really happy that we did this pantry makeover. That link to Easy Closets and the coupon code is in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see next week's video of organizing this awesome pantry. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a creative day. Bye.